Hey guys, it's Crystal Briefs. This video will be a continuation from the last video and will go through what happens if 055 is poorly designed. If you haven't watched the previous one on the requirements for a good 055 design, I highly suggest you watch that first, link in the description. First, let's see what happens when we don't have an adequate number of inf buffers. So this is the baseline report in which 055 worked completely fine as it should and I did a statistically much stronger 947. The inf buffers used was 40 tier 2 which is equivalent to about 40 to 50k tier 4 inf in a real rally. If you look at the details, half the cap on 947 is gone and this is the hallmark you need to remember for a successful 055 against ranged phalanx. And this is the report of a failed 055 due to insufficient inf buffers. The inf buffers used was 20 here, which is equivalent to 20 to 25k tier 4 inf. And the result is completely different because my cav is almost intact. So with insufficient inf buffers, 055 cannot access cav in 424. And this is the kind of report you've probably seen most often. Next is what would happen with too much inf buffers. So this is the failed 055 result with 100 tier 2 inf's. The same thing, 055 cannot access the cab in 424. Plus the cab is completely intact, contrary to the previous failed report in which there was a slight damage on cab. So I assume it's a slightly different mechanism. But why is inf buffer so important? It's gonna be complicated, but it relates to the timings of dying inf buffer and the activation of 200% squad attack by inf heroes in 424, which is worth another video. Next, what happens if you didn't have 4 ranged heroes? So in this one, 055 side put 2 calf heroes and the result was significantly impaired with less damage on 424 side. And if you look at the report, the penetration process seemed okay, but less than half my cav is gone. Which means 055 lacked on ranged attack from the ranged hero. It's the same with 3 calf heroes, although the damage on the imps slightly increased. Looking at these reports, you might actually think, huh, 055 can penetrate completely fine without 4 ranged heroes, but that's because the range is pretty thin in these cases. If the opponent had more range, like 1 million, lacking range hero will hit you harder. So it's important to have 4 ranged heroes to ensure you penetrate a thicker ranged front. But you can also take that as if the opponent's range is thin like paper, Four ranged heroes are not necessary. Indeed, if the opponent use imp phalanx, two or three calf heroes do work, but still most people are inclined to take a 055 with ranged phalanx. Also, against a lot stronger lead who's got a lot more ranged HP than you, four ranged heroes are still recommended. Next is familiars. If other parts of 055 is fine, Making mistakes here won't become much of a problem actually. I've compiled the results into a table for better accessibility because there's no difference in the mechanisms. We did other possible lineups and the baseline with 3 packed 5 familiars and calf shield and stacker seemed to be the best overall. But the one with griffin only or calf stacker only did more damage to the opponent than the baseline probably due to extra pack 5 familiar damage, so it's kind of up to you. But to take care of inf phalanx better, calf stacker and calf shield is I think the best combo. Next, what if 055 hits a 424 with only one inf hero? I previously said it's harder to beat a 424 with one inf hero with 055, and this is the report. The difference is now significantly smaller compared to the baseline. If you look at the detail, it becomes clearer. Only one fourth of my cav is gone 
and that's only one calf squad. So 055 can only reach one calf squad in 4 to 4 with one inf hero, although it's still a promised win. If you're clever enough, you'd guess 4 to 4 with 0 inf hero will prevent the access to calf completely and beat 055, and that is correct. But 0 inf hero poses a whole set of different issues, so I don't recommend that anyway. Next, what if the 424 took a well-designed 055 and in Phalanx? Here's the report. It's still a defeat by a significant margin, although a bit better than taking 055 in ranged Phalanx. This ultimately means my partner's 055 can handle a lot stronger lead, even than my account. There's no way to defend a refined 055 if you're doing 424 with two in heroes unless you're much, much, much stronger than the lead using 055. But there's better odds of taking a 055 with 424 in Phalanx if you have only one in Hero, as you can see in this report. Looking at the details, the damage on Cav is significantly reduced, so there might be slightly different mechanism that makes 424 more resistant to 055 with one in hero, which might be worth further investigation. I guess it's the second cav hero affecting the retargeting sequence. That said, ranged phalanx is still better with one in hero. By the way, if you know the opponent's gonna be an in phalanx, 055 can actually use ranged phalanx effectively but I don't really recommend that under normal circumstances in which you can't make sure which front enemy 424 is using. Next, we investigated how stronger an opponent can 055 handle. I've increased the tier 3 count by 10% each on my 947 to simulate a stronger opponent than my account and saw how far 055 could go. It might blow your mind, so check it out. So against 9 for 7 ranged phalanx, the 055 was able to handle up to 40% tier 3 tier 2 count. Since tier 3 is 1.5 times stronger than tier 2, whereas tier 5 is only 1.33 times stronger than tier 4, it's like beating 60% tier 5 tier 4 9 for 7 with pure tier 4 055 on top of the difference between me and my partner's stats. You can do that without carpet and most of the defenders will probably take that in ranged phalanx. However, if the opponent was on a more knowledgeable end and decides to take that in in phalanx, 055 with pure tier 2 can only handle up to nearly 20% tier 3 tier 2 count. Like in this report, the 055 lost just by a bit. That means my partner's 055 can guarantee a win against that much stronger 947 without carpeting. The 947 in this case had two inf heroes, so if it was one inf hero, however, the maximum level of the opponent 055 can handle will be reduced unfortunately. I also checked how thicker the ranged front can 055 handle. It looks like my partner's 055 can penetrate up to 1100 ranged, which is equivalent to about 1.1 million ranged in a real rally. So just increasing the ranged by a bit most likely won't save you from 055, especially if the opponent was at the same level as you. 055 might even be able to penetrate 875's ranged phalanx and beat 875. No other comp can secure a victory like this. We also compared 055 with 208. 208 can handle 947 ranged phalanx better like in this report because 208 is designed to counter ranged phalanx. After destroying half the ranged, 208 retargets on Inf, doing a lot of damage. However, when 947 was in ranged Wedge, 208 won by much smaller margin, like in this report, since Cav is ahead of Inf in ranged Wedge, making it difficult for 208 to access Inf. If 947 had the Cav shield, the result could be or nearly overturned. That means the level of the opponent 208 can secure a victory against is somewhat lower than 055, 
since 0-5-5 can promise a win against a lot stronger lead with two in heroes. So 0-5-5 is pretty insane, isn't it? Now let's look at this from a defender's perspective. How can your 4-2-4 stop 0-5-5 provided you're the stronger one? The only viable formation to take a 0-5-5 with is ranged phalanx or in phalanx. However, with one nth hero, you should take a 0-5-5 hit in ranged phalanx because only one cav squad would be touched. But you most likely won't be able to beat 0-5-5 anyway. But if the 0-5-5 is poorly designed, taking that with ranged phalanx tend to work better. Ideally, in your watchtower, you should look at the amount of int buffers and the number of ranged heroes to decide your formation, but that's difficult, especially if 055 used carpets. What I suggest instead is, as soon as you see a 055 coming, you should always pull first. Then you scout the fort to check if the opponent's 055 is well designed or not using the criteria I gave you in the previous video, especially on inf buffers, to decide on whether you can take that with 424. Also, you should stop using a brainless familiar lineup. Start using shield familiars and that will actually make 424 more resistant to 055. Helldrider is also very effective which I've tested for a year. So in this report, I successfully took my partner's 055 with the 424 variant in ranged phalanx. There are three elements that made it resist a potentially destructive 055. First is the thickness of the ranged. 800k ranged in 947 is usually too thin against 055. So I did 857 to extend the penetration time. The second is the Helldrider. Helldrider will target on the ranged, reducing the ranged attack by a lot and drastically extending the time required for penetration. Third is 1 inch hero. By putting only 1 inch hero, you only grant 055 access to 1 cav squad, which is a huge reduction in the total damage your 424 receives compared to 2 inch heroes. These three factors, especially one in hero, were necessary to stop a refined 055 from beating my 424 variant. Also, bear in mind that specific 424 variants react a bit differently to the same 055 design, which I'll leave it up to you to figure out. So, is 055 doomed? Nope. There's actually a way to bypass Helldrider for 055. That's to do cav dominant 055 like 0911. With 0911, the 055 variant was still able to promise a victory like in this report. By having more cav, the Helldrider in 424 will target on the cav of 055 comp. The cav also absorbed the Pact 5 familiar damage, so this leads to 055 ranged, preserving the force of penetration. This is actually very interesting. I might make more videos on 055 variants from 064 to 046. By the way, Jade Worm, the new Pact 5 talent, will probably be very effective against 055, so it's a bad news for 055 lover. Finally, Never take a 055 hit in ranged wedge, even if you're tempted to. Even a very bad 055 design can destroy a ranged wedge. And that's it for this video. I'll make more videos about 055 hopefully, since it actually contains a wealth of battle dynamics. Thanks so much for watching and see you later.